Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, last video we really just started the game so we were introduced to Jackie, we were introduced to our kind of corpo story life path um, and had our first encounter with a ripper doc and we are about to kind of just meet some new person. I forget what his name is. Um, Dex! <laughs> his name is Dex. So we're about to meet with Dex for the first time. Um, I was listening to one of the gaming podcasts that I like and one of the people on there, spoiler free, uh, recommended that you continue the main story until you're introduced to Johnny Silverhand and that at that point start to kind of veer off and do the side stuff. Um, so I'm not sure how long into the game that is, but I think I'm going to do that for now. Uh, I was kind of just like zooming around the map. There is a ton of side jobs that I can do, a ton of side things I can do, um, and I will do those. I'm, I think I'm going to do those at least most of them on camera, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but at this point, I think I wanna focus on the main story uh, just to kind of get my feet underneath me and get more immersed in the world and then we'll start kind of diverging from there to do some of the side stuff. So let me know what you think of that plan in the comments below. But uh, I don't really have much else to say other than I'm having a ton of fun so far and I really enjoyed my time playing last time uh, and I hope that you enjoyed the video as well. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. All right, do so... Do you truly believe that those who have sold you Huh. I'm kind of afraid to drive there because I'm <laughs> not a great driver, but we're going to do that. Also, I have this really cool cyberpunk necklace, so I had to, had to have an outfit to match it. Like, driving like a grandma, it's fine. There's a lot of fighting going on over there, what the hell? Hello? Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. That's a really Dexter cool art. Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? <laughs> Ooh, that's good. You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. I can't see in my line of work. I choose to be Mr. Chill, but folks exactly. who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it, simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Oh, shit. Surely that's no problem. Well. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shark. I 
freaking love my nails. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't Looks get like a that tractor. Bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. <laughs> Shit. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith's doubt of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Hmm. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Miss V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. So, since I had the corpo option, if there are other options that I can't use, like the street kid or whatever, do they show up just gray, or do I just not even know that they were an option? Um, I'm curious to see that. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person. And Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. What? Pretty much you. Oh, fuck it. I don't know. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. I hope you guys aren't hearing that poppling. Poppling? <laughs> Popping and crackling noise on your end. I don't know why sometimes my headphones do that and sometimes they don't. Like, they don't have a short in them because they work fine. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory. Hmm? Okay. Later now. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. <laughs> Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work. I guess. Before lining us up a big job. Miss V, how about a little something to get those taste buds tingling? The bioship in question is in fact the so-called Relic, a Nova tier piece of tech catering to the top 1%. Supposedly the best life insurance money can buy. You and I are going to be neck deep in money. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. 
Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Probably. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, I don't how trust you him. Play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's I first? Don't like it. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Where's my car? Miss V, I just want to remind you again that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in biz around some of 10,000 euro dollars to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do, Maelstrom being Maelstrom. You'll need it, best of luck. Oh, is that my car? Nice. Instantaneous. Hey there, doll face. Hey. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get into the fight. Ha! Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find him in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Fuck to death. Oh, okay, great. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mocks came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side, so we took matters into our own hands. The mocks is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, anyless artists, penniless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand. Today, the mocks is thriving, as demonstrated by the booming biz of Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is renowned for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suites, gang goons, pop stars, and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here 
It's hard for me to know when things are typos or just like weird slang. Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into the pockets, and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this fucker, editor's note, referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is, she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty, it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the claws found out fast, and they flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and... Pause. Well, you already know the rest. Cool. Hello. Like your coat. If you're a dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You'll find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, solid tech, but most important, the catalog. Chock full of nearly any exp you can imagine. E oh. So when it's an abbreviation for experience, do you say expert experience? You'll find, I feel like an old lady. <laughs> You'll find everything you need to get you off. Fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front door scare you off or kill your buzz. They're wary of newcomers, but once you get in, they'll treat you like one of their own. Trust us, give Lizzie's a try and they'll never go anywhere else. Now, the afterlife? That's a different story. Sure, you can cut loose and have a good time there, but the afterlife is a place of business above all else. Want to meet with a fixer about a job that needs doing? discuss important gig details with a client over drinks, or maybe just sit back and people watch to see the comings and goings of the NC Underworld's biggest merc and fixer names, the afterlife is a great place for all of the above. The only place, really. If you're looking for the city's marquee events, you'll find yourself at Riot. Chart-topping playlists, live performances from the brightest stars, both local and from around the world, DJ battles, unique music shows, and media-packed album premieres. Sound like you're seen? Don't miss out on Riot. Hey, another round over here, Stan. So, Pampas, Pampas, <laughs> pompous asshole or eccentric genius, acclaimed rocker boy Slavaj McAllister, sorry for butchering the names, has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentans. While the rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak after hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in the crowd. Before the booze-fueled melee got heated, the Cartesian duelist premiered new songs Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and Cogito Ergo Sum, which, as usual, have critics divided. Lyrically, the new singles touch on issues such as internal struggle of body and mind, the limitations of our senses, and the search for absolute truths. Some critics, some critics considered the new material pseudo-intellectual drivel. Others praise the band's fresh, innovative spin on the genre. Beyond the brawl, even the McAllister's headlines are making headlines. When asked in an interview with N54 News what the cryptic title of the track Cogito Ergo Sum meant, the rocker boy replied, he ain't rubbed by questions from gonk-brained frauds. <laughs> what are you? Despite, or perhaps thanks to, the numerous controversies ever swirling around the Cartesian duelist frontman, his popularity continues to swell. The band's new album is slated for release soon, and if you believe the chatter on the net, it will be entitled War of Truths. Hey! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. Fuck, that backfired. It's all right, Mateo. Oh, hello. Evelyn Parker. 
I knew it was you as soon as you I want her out of it. That's on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. I'm a little Either tipsy. Either that or just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. This one's me and Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? It's fine. I just told her. Someone's got a little fight happening. Oh, hello, lady. We're gonna have a little show while we do this, huh? That is a killer outfit. Takes a very particular person to be able to pull that off. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um. V? No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts. Where do I know her voice from? Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. You guys are going to tell me I don't feel so stupid. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. Two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. You're telling me you're one of them? If you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. <laughs> Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. 
Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain. Sorry. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving of its own article, but suffice to say, the media industry in our city follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of empire, a true dynasty under the rule of patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and secession of company control as well as if it's closely as well as of its closely guarded secrets to his daughter Hanako and son Yornobu have come and passed in recent years but has the time come when such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth our sources report that Yorinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City but not for a social call and yet, if Yorinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako? Experts who follow the family closely unanimous, unanimously agree that, due to ideological differences between Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will likely cement herself as the one true heir to the immense fortune and power of the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what would happen if Hanako fell from favor at a time when Yorinobu had his father's ear? And scenario, and scenario might cause such a fall. No family is without its secrets, and the Arasakas are no exception. After all, what appears first as heaven appears second as hell. Japanese proverb. Dance from Kompeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. Yeah, yeah. It can be a very useful like tool. anything else? Good for I, analyzing uh, details, human uh, perception, even boost. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. It's quite need to sure. locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Uh... Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. What? Judy's always been there for me. To say, this week, always for sure, helped out. Okay? I trust yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. But all she's right, a mox. All right, all right. Not the latest mm -hmm. member of your crew. Mm -hmm, all right. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, mm -hmm. tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Is that Relax. Bex? Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. I think she sounds like Bex, and that's what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. I like it when you finally meet the people Impressively that you see that. in trailers. Need all this to process brain dance. Concept dances. art and things like that. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensor sig amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. 
So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. <laughs> so, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff, uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Oh my god, the audio crackling is gonna drive me crazy. Oh, real quick, I think this is one of the parts that if you have seizures could trigger your seizure. So I heard that they did a patch where they fixed it or toned it down or something, but just in case, if you have anything like that that makes you nervous, uh, look away or pause the video and skip ahead, just in case, please. Because I think they said it was a part of the brain dance system that did that. Got to create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Do you remember this from the... Whoa! Yeah! Hey! One of the Night City wires. Now! Before I blow your fucking head off! but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Oh, great. Thanks. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. 
you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back got to the I, top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd for the creep. You go in, snatch the cash, get Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You don't need to You're those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Okay, indicates currently selected layer. Visual, vi visual, <laughs> visual, thermal, and sound. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. That's really cool. Okay, fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Stock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. surf and turf. Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see him kiss in the forest? Mike, that's where I'm fucking up. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have hmm. caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. That's really cool. Hey, 
His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. I feel like those can either be really fun or really boring, <laughs> depending on the situation. But I like things like that where you have to find the different clues. Um, but I can also see them being tedious. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Oh, shit. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Thanks, Judy. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request. It's so creepy. Now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. Okay. You like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay. Um. Claudia Lair? I thought I had. Finish. There we go. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide right. them. Heard oh. that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay, but I'm gonna do this one first. Here in a drone, V, 
ventilation and cooling? Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Okay, that means that there's stuff to scan here, right? Scan Yuri Nobu's data pad while it's turned on. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot. Okay, so they have an alarm system. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. All right, cool. What's this? Camera? Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. <laughs> Just need access to their subnet. Okay. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? I said no. <laughs> It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense and it's edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Where is the... I can't scan that. Hm. Okay. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any... What did he grab? Candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bed... Bed... That's how I'm not up here. Focus on me. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to all know what you're supposed to be scanning. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Okay, that makes, why, makes sense why we're getting ourselves. it. Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Okay, what else can we scan right now? Oh. The visual layer scan Yuri Nobu's data pad while it's. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got a nice Okay, idea. I still don't know how to scan the data pad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe 
Maybe not now. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're yes, in, don't about that iron. Why can't I scan that? There we go. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. So I missed something back there in the visual layer. Oh. Ah, uh, you don't like this. Scan. For thermal clues. Oh, what's this? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay. So let's go back here and see if I can find the... Whatever I missed here. Candy left. <laughs> I like hearing them talking backwards. One. Focus on me. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be scanning there. Hmm. Not sure. Donna Geese. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. What's this? something just a fancy ass fridge tip doesn't match okay. the guidelines won't find a thing here there's nothing you look like a I do not like that guy. Okay. So what the freak am I missing? I'm missing something.
but uh, make yourself comfortable. I made finished programs. Trying to fix counting. That. What is that? Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's okay. got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Well, I don't like that I missed stuff. Not a fan of that. Oh well, what you can you do? What you can you do? <laughs> Get everything you need? Think the brain dance yep. got my brain. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Oh, cool, thanks. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. Man, it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Uh oh. Houston? We have a problem. Well, what do you think? So, what now? I don't want to question her when I just Please. met her because I don't want to piss her off. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Fuck. Guys, I don't know what to do. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I don't if think I can do it, you guys. I'll send you my number. I like Evelyn. Okay. Good luck. Now go. But I don't know if I can do that. I need a few words with Judy. Okay, prick points. Still don't know what the fuck to do. 
Um, if you guys attempted to give me advice on the comments of the last video, like I asked you to, thank you, but I'm recording this video on the same day as the last video, so <laughs> I don't know if you did or not because I'm not psychic. So I apologize for not listening to your advice if you left advice because I don't know what your future advice will be at this point. I really, really, really don't know. I like that regeneration one. I feel like that would be good. Okay, that would be cool. a lot of really cool what are these perks Okay, I think I'm gonna do this health generation one for now, and then... Oh, I have another attribute point. Um... Okay, <laughs> we're going with that. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful, mm -hmm. T-Bug already called. Yeah, yeah, Said she's you. working her magic. And the flathead? I don't know. Nothing yet. On it now. Right. T-Bug says no chance at that chip without that buy. To work then, Miss V. Uh... I like that there's no stealing in this. All right, the mocks. It's one of those stories that is either very. Oh, we already read that. Okay. Can I go in here? Mm hmm. Hola B, how's it going? What's the status? I was met with client, played me a BD of the place. We're supposed to visit. BD, huh? Just keep me posted. A.M. last night. <laughs> the fuck? And she's rattling on. What? Thanks, stuff. Yada yada yada. It's hard to say. This week. All the for while, sure, okay? I'm angling to get a word yeah, in because yeah, 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 I need yeah. her right, to cover right, for me right. that afternoon when mm -hmm. I go to pick my daughter mm -hmm. up from right. school. But it's chill, you know. Then this guy stumbles in, whacked out, almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape shit inside? Nah. Get this. You're gonna she hurt someone. Mm -hmm. Punch an animal like. No virtue shit. 
Kibble stared glumly at his glass of a seaweed-colored drink. A part of him hoped the bartender had poured a pint of rat... A pint. <laughs> a pint of rat poison by mistake. I don't get it, Chum, he murdered gloomily. At school, they said I had talent, a real knack for acting. Was it all a fucking lie or what? Dude, there are billions of people on this rock, Scop shrugged. Can't work out for everyone. Kibble flickered on his olfactory booster and gave his beverage a whiff. Smelled just like the wet mop in the bathroom, maybe worse. Then, not knowing why, he suddenly recalled the merc he talked to a week ago in a popular punk dive he liked to frequent. Well, okay, maybe talked is generous, but grievances were certainly aired. The merc swept the floor with him that night and threatened to put a bullet between his tonsils if he ever spilled her to if he ever spilled her tequila again. This is it, he thought. Rot gut and tequila, unemployed losers and hot shit mercs. The latter with the world at their feet. It's people like Kibble who are just a theater set piece, who make up the backdrop against which the San Sandifistin <laughs> Sandifistin boosted words. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that word is. Of the world can shine brightest stars. Kibble decided then and there that he didn't want to be just a splotch in the background anymore. Why? Why can't it work out for us? He asked with sour grimace. Why does the city only reward bloodthirsty, bullet crazy punks while the rest of us normal s sops without murderous tendencies have to huddle over our cheap glasses of green cockroach piss? Scop shrugged again. I don't know, find a gun. Buy an edgy jacket, he suggested indifferently with a note of sarcasm. Shoot up some gang haunts. Have the punkiest time of your life for four and a half seconds. What the hell happened here? Kibble can continued his rant. The world's all upside down. There are billions just like you and me. Billions of do-nothings. Cowards. No, not cowards. People who just want things to be normal. Safety. Life. Life, Scop. Scop had already opened his mouth, ready to fire off another round of cynical retorts, but then stopped himself and began a tangent of his own. Life, he repeated slowly and ponderously. What if I could sell the world an alternate life? The same all those edge runners feel, except where you won't ever die like they do. Kibble snorted and spat out the cockroach piss he finally resolved to taste. Sorry to your bubble chum, but somebody's way ahead of you there. Ever heard of the Bloody Bout 4 or, like, a million other computer games? Scott cracked a roguish smile. Cracked a roguish smile. Is Bloody Bout 4 or these other m million games designed to function on a hybrid brain dance system like the one I developed just last week? He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay trip. So Gina... What she do? Drag the girl back to Okay, how do I make a phone call? Who am I calling? Call Militech Agent Meredith Stout. out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut oh, him I up. still feel like shit. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck-ups toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Going in or staying out? All right. There was a... First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. Okay. Should probably drive, huh? Whoa, thought that was my car. Oh, it is my car. Is that my car? That's not my car. This is my that's not my car either. Where's my car? <laughs> Hello, car? Me off. Ah! 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 
This is not my car, but it is now. Oh, oh, fuck. Crazy driver coming through. Oh, there's a question mark back there. I wonder what that was. Ooh. Not dead. Oh no! Don't do that! Don't do that! I want to try all the radio stations out and see. Alright, we'll start at the beginning. Pacific Dreams. Oh, fuck. Nobody saw anything. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You're still high. Oh wait, that's not what I want. God damn it. Why did that change? Oh god. Wasn't anywhere near you, dude. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Let's not run into the cop. That was a tight turn. This isn't sketchy at all. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Why didn't that work? Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got oh. any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport, and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep now. Well, shit. I should have seen that coming, huh? Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Shut down. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on, all corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Dude, you shut better shut up or you're gonna get shot. Unhand me now before I... Hey, dude. Her, you can let go. I want to hear what she has to say. I mean, wouldn't it have been easier if you just asked me from the beginning? Hello? I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. 
But they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Not the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech. Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. If something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Some shards you find in the world were con will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under journal in the main menu. Then select crack security to unlock its secrets. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Where? Where'd my cargo? You're making a mistake. The girl's already good as dead. But she'll take you down with her. Okay, my card disappeared. Gave me a different card, but what if I wanted that other card? All right, let's see. Shards. Fifty-five. One C. E nine. All right. Eddie's on the crit ship are clean. All right. So now we shouldn't get our ass handed to us. What do we pay with it? Away. I did a lot, actually. So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who pissed. knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, 
Into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. <laughs> He's Had stuck behind my car. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. That makes me nervous. <sighs> Don't know you. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Get to the main production floor Go of all things. I could use a few plans. Ooh, yeah, though. what can? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Buddhism and cyberware. Interviewer. For most of us, the precepts of Buddhism seem baffling to say the least. How would you explain to the average night citizen why Oh god, I don't know how to pronounce that. Bhikkhu, such as yourself, are against implanting cybernetic technology into their bodies. Sorry. Monk, it's not that we're against them, per se. Every person has the right to make choices with their body so long as those choices don't harm another. Though Bhikkhu do abide by stricter rules, such as abstaining from cyberware in order to achieve enlightenment. Interviewer, then what does your hesitation stem from? How do cybernetics affect your pursuit of enlightenment? Monk, well... Short pause. Among other things, it's their vague, fluid status. For lack of a better word, ask yourself, what is an implant? A part of your body? An impersonal object? Interviewer, you're asking me? Uh, unintelligible. Suppose I'd say it depends. Monk, precisely. Bhikkhu limit their possessions to a robe, umbrella, and a bowl for alms. Everything else is a distraction that hinders his or her release from the world's suffering. Let's say, for example, that a synthetic hand is just that, a hand, a part of your body. But if it has a watch installed in it, a blade? Interviewer. Right, I think I understand. Where's, where the lines drawn isn't completely clear. Monk. Possessions, especially such intimate ones, are distractions that muddy the mind, that pull it further from inner peace. I believe the phenomenon of cyberpsychosis is proof enough of this. Truth. Oh yeah, they look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kiroshis while I was asleep. But no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again, no change. There I saw them, clear as day, the open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that, up until now, had been hidden by perfect imitation sin skin. The son of Future Tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. I sat there stuck with a dumb, impression, dumb expression on my face, and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now, were those beautiful blue eyes of his, the same that had pierced my soul, were they merely a mimicry controlled by some MO algorithm? Had there never been anything real behind them all those times, not once? Alex, I... It's not what you think, he pleaded with a strangely authentic note of panic in his voice, and I wanted to believe him, I really did. Hmm, well clearly it hasn't been, I replied in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck. The first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a goddamn motherboard on legs. No, that's not... Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you... Did you say fall for? My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain whatever is left of the real Jason Cadillus? 
If his father was able to design a synthetic heart for me, maybe he could do the same for his son's brain. The question is, why? Interesting. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. He called him special. Hey, what was in there? Militech truck. Cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. Seventy-five years of cyberware by Tsutsomu Ta Takahashi. A century ago, losing a limb meant tragedy. It meant living with permanent disability, with severely reduced physical capability, and often with chronic pain. What's more, people with disabilities frequently suffered from widespread discrimination, both active, example employment bias, and passive or unconscious, example poor infrastructure accessibility, inaccessibility. Today, assuming the dismemberment victim is financially stable, loss of limb accounts to little more than a minor inconvenience. A century ago, employers could impose specific dress codes, hairstyle regulations, and piercing and tattoo bans. Many even pressed their employees to maximize product productivity, often in violation of the law, such as through anti-pregnancy policies. At the time, however, deeper involvement with employees' bodies was simply impossible, legal or otherwise. But with the advent of cyberware, employers in the second half of the, of the 21st century have imposed requirements for skin, bone, muscle, organ, and eye replacements in order to improve performance and workplace effectiveness. In extreme cases, security sector employees are commonly urged to undergo so-called full body conversions or full cyborgization. Is that what that guy was? Much has changed over the past 75 years from when cybernetic implantations first hit the mass market. Many in the field of history of technology have argued cyberware is a positive force for progress, and many have argued the opposite. This book attempts to describe and contextualize the changes, for better or worse, that it has introduced to our professional and personal lives. How has cyberware led us to where we are today, and where is it taking us next? It's definitely an interesting question. Minas, chica. In the middle of town. These loons think there's a war going on? Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. Oh, yeah, well, these guys are a bit more than just naughty boys. Can psycho cyber psychosis be cured? Opinions on that question are divided. Only a few years ago, so-called brain dance therapy was used across the entire country on a mass scale with the aim of bringing the sick back from the point of no return. The patient would be placed on a special chair and connected to a device that would deactivate all implants. Then electrodes would be attached, inducing the patient into a coma-like brain dance session. This was then followed up by medicine, psychosurgery, and the aversion therapy. The overall treatment was intended to sever all the patient's neural connections and tie them back together so the cyber psycho could return to society. Once the therapy was concluded, no symptoms of cyber psychosis were detected, as well as the patient's former personality. But don't worry, nowadays other methods are used. At least, that's what they tell us. More minds? Seriously. Yeah, that's not good. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Takes more than that to spook me. No, it doesn't. Get in the elevator, you fucking sheep. Did you just call me a sheep? Powerless. Not anymore. Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors and mix it up. Applies the nourishment status, which increases maximum health. Okay, fine. I won't, but let me eat these things. You coming? Yes! Relax! Alright, chill, V. Remember, we're on their 
their turf. So what do you want? This is gonna be bad. You got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. You act like a Tum Tum, so that's a good name. Planet. Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Well, all right. What's that you got? Come on, got lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say. Straight-edged princess. I just don't want to catch whatever disease you have from sharing that inhaler with you. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Do we know what it looks like, though? Oh, yeah, that Fucking looks like it. tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor, full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? So I like that you can see the options Look if you can't that. actually use them still. Fucker. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. Alright. I don't like the your face. Head. I better see some eddies. Oh. Relax. Alright! Jesus! Just like that! Without that in the fucking eye! <laughs> Want it or not? I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> dead. Here she is, the ugly bitch! Bye. You're dead. You hear? Oh, get him. Oh, they don't all make sense. And they still are alive. Mierda. Cut off. Grab the gear. Bot and control. Quick. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of bullet ricochets if you have ballistic co 
co-processor cyberware and the trajectory trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi Optics installed. I do not, but I'll still take the gun. Oh, oh, what do you got? What do you got? Yellow thing. Hmm. You've just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of the item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. I think I already read that. The four. Lots of goodies. Don't know what any of them are yet. He's got pants in his pocket. And he's floating in the air. What have we here? I think I need to sell some shit after this. Cyberbuck 2020. Rule book. Doesn't matter how well you do something as long as you look good doing it. If you're going to blow it, make sure you look like you planned it that way. Normally clothes and looks don't matter in an adventure. In this world, having a leather armor jacket and mirror shades is a serious consideration. Think dangerous, be dangerous. Think weak, be wink. <laughs> be wink, be wink guys. Never walk into a room when you can stride in. Never drive slow when you can drive fast. Throw yourself up against danger and take it head on. Never play it too safe. Stay committed to the edge. Not only are All Foods products healthy and nutritious, they will feed our future. Soon, All Foods will launch a pilot line of new products to complement the Easy Beef brand. This series of meat products meat products will be based on flatworm cultures, which have been found to significantly help increase metabolism, slow weight gain, and cleanse the intestinal tract. We hope the flatworm initiative will usher in all foods latest successful generation of meat products. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock the full potential of their targeting systems. To install one, be sure to visit your trusty ripper dock. Oh. All right, sorry guys, I'm not gonna read the football one. I wanna keep playing, no time to keep reading. Um. Can I? that alarm interesting all right cool got the set Bot and controller. Then let's go. For the better. Let's get out of here. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. Dying for some fresh air. Oops. Okay. I thought when it said right bumper, that meant I was assigning it. Apparently no. Apparently it means you're throwing it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, did I get everything?
Really wishing I uh, improved the tech perk so I could get rid of those grenades or those mines. I when it failed, it's me. Ah, I could taste it. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved meat. Really, no other way. He loves meat. He doesn't love flatworm. What's this? Oh. That's cool. So it doesn't look like there's anybody around. I think we killed them all. Okay. Dildo. I'm assuming we can't go that way. It's worth a try. The only guy around? It's the only one I see. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Can I do it again? Nope. Shit. All right, well, let's try another one. <laughs> oh, if you screw it up, you screw it up. Can someone explain to me what 
what is happening. Yeah, we can't stop. We don't gotta stay there. Flash bolt! Flash bolt! <laughs> They like to repeat themselves, huh? Okay, that did not go well. That did not go well at all. It's just a No, you don't see me. You don't see me. Apparently we can get many versions of the same story. J. Jonah Jameson, is that you? Hey, yo, hey, hey, help me out over here. Oh, shit, I know this fool. It's Brick. Dead name. It's your call, V. Oh. What do you want to do? Wait, what? I don't know what this does. Gonna be long. But, all said and done, guy was a goon. Ruthless at that. What did I just do? <gasps> Guess that's all of them. Did I kill that guy? Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. Maggot's over there. I love this combat music. It's so good. Oh my god, why? Okay. Listen, 
And this wouldn't be bad if I didn't keep catching on fire. Crazy. Please stop catching on fire now. I feel like I was infected with something. Get me out of here. A drink umbrella. Come on, let's see that pretty faceplate. So are there different types of health um, inhalers? Baby steps V. Enemies watching. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay. I have that one turned on? So we've got three people. One. Two. Oh, three. I don't know where that guy went. You hear that? Oh. Don't know how I did that. Chit, 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 chit. How? I pin down. How? This gun is amazing. He's behind a fucking thing. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Alright, I really wanted stealth to be my thing. I wanted to be able to like hack shit because I thought that seemed really cool. But clearly I don't understand it properly yet. <laughs> So maybe I need to go, oh, maybe I need to go really focus on body in this playthrough. I was kind of just doing that at first, but all right, what do we got? Um, what can we sell for at least a month of money? How do I drop? I'm gonna drop this, so how do I do that? Um, I don't fucking know. Oh, right stick, okay. Where do I see my, oh, 198, uh-huh, perfect. I shouldn't take either of those. Although, what are you? You look pretty. You got bitch on you, so you seem pretty cool. Come on, V. Let's get out of here. Did I do that? You got those things buzzing around everywhere. Pass the gate. We can talk there. with Maelstrom, huh? Never ends well, does it? Looks like you two lucked out a bit. And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. Yeah, I doubt that. Rather tough to get corpses to talk. You'd be surprised. I'm sure I'll manage something. For real? That's creepy. It's been a pleasure. I always wonder how things would have been different if we didn't go talk to the Militic Lady first. Like, would they have attacked us if we didn't? 
We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? <laughs> hey, what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with Corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Miss B. <laughs> yes. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. And as we know from our previous reading, the afterlife is the place in Night City you go to do business deals. Okay, so I want to sell all of my junk. Apparently I didn't have as much junk as I realized. Um, I <laughs> fucking tilto. <laughs> Looks like a caterpillar. Okay. <laughs> We also don't need all of these weapons. It's a little ridiculous. Um, so. Let's sell just these regular Joe Schmoey ones. Because they're not better than what we have anyways. sell that one. It's pretty. I do want to sell that one though. And we can sell that one. And we're going to keep those. Okay. My little studded jacket. Alright, we can sell that, <laughs> we can sell that. So does this go under our jacket? So right now we have a tank top on. That's good. All right, let's go. Don't walk. Don't walk. Where is my vehicle? So where the hell does this want me to go? Oh, down there. Guys, my car is broken. This 
Let's do just sleeping on the ground, poor thing. I don't like that turkey, man. I don't like him at all. Listen, does it expect me to walk all the way there? It's getting closer. There we are. I was struggling for a little bit there. in a bad space. I'm surprised the cops haven't been after me yet for all the destruction I've caused. And all the people I've almost run over. this entrance. Oh, these are fast travel points. That's cool. About time, chica. <laughs> What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. Whatever. Aw, hey, Jackie. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Funny. What? For a club with the hottest contracts in town. Doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, Chum. Ready to get your cherry popped? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on! Seems like a shithole, you ask me? Place you can't even take out the trash. Believe that? Who would have thunk? I, know, I get the right? name now. Way before our time, that. But proper burials were still a thing. That's a cool outfit. And who am I, you clowns? Baby? We're friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. This is it. Jordan, Night City. Right there. 
meeting. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhead. Hey, eyes on me. Hey, grab a seat. We'll get inside. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on. We gotta stay sober till the job is done, man. Chingada madre. Fine. Have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. <laughs> Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me, what would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. <laughs> Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Oh, I should have stopped outside the bar. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work That's out. quite the look there. Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop Big me? talker, huh? Sure. In here. Stay pinche tipo. In here. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. It's cute. All right then. Set your butts down, comfy. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all. I'd like to start with a question from Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Mm, fuck. Hello? 
think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what you was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Debs? Yes. Fuck. I like her, so I didn't want to tell him. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Hmm. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, can't you forget do this the gun. The hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. Transport to Delamain. Remus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The No-Tell Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more, what's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Hannah Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Yes. How do we get in the penthouse? Yarnobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel's subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Buck solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Feel brought up to speed? Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Fine, Dex. Made your point. Fuck, I need to grow Wise a pair. Choice. Last thing, Kompeki's got a strict no iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. 
I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Mm. Something I gotta take care of first. Sin problemas. Meet you by the Della Main. All right, I just didn't want it to automatically start us into the next one. Just don't forget so... to suit up. <laughs> we'll meet him there. All right, guys, so I will pick up with getting into the Delamain cab and pulling off our heist in the next video. Um, I'm really, really, really loving this game. I know that there are um, some glitches, there are some parts that don't look as nice as I would want them to, um, but it doesn't detract from the game at all for me, and it actually makes me really, really excited to play it again on the next-gen version. So um, I hope that you guys feel the w same way if you're playing it. I hope it's not d distracting for you, um, but I'm really enjoying the story. I don't know if I'm going to cut Dex out or not because... I feel like that's a bad plan for the street cred side of things and can come back to bite us in the ass later on. But also I feel like he's taken advantage of us with the 30% thing, so I really, really don't know what to do. Um, and I'd ask for your advice, but I'll be recording the next video before I post this video, so it won't really matter, <laughs> I don't think. Um, but if you want to post in the comments below like what you chose or what you think was the better option, feel free to do so because I'd be curious to see how it would be different um, depending on the choice that I make. Um, and at this point, I don't know which choice that's going to be, so we'll, we'll have to kind of play it by ear and see how things go as the mission progresses and kind of see what my gut feeling is with that. Um, but I do really like Evelyn. Dex is cool, but like I said, it seemed like he was taking advantage of us. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. But I still love Jackie, and Night City itself is really cool, uh, super full and lively, and just, it feels like a rich environment and a rich city, and I'm just, like, super excited to keep exploring it, and I hope that you are as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and hope you have an amazing day.